Hey there, Cosmic Nuts, Cosmic Notties, and Cosmic Cucks, and welcome to another Slab City update. Yeah, this week, EJ came back. Well, not back to the Eco Village, but back to Slab City. Last year, he didn't come out here at all. I thought, hmm, maybe he's just not going to be coming out here anymore. But went to the range one night and sure enough ej was sitting there on a bench and i was like come on down let's hang out and get caught up so you know he had a bottle of jameson we had some drinks uh passed around uh, a bowl or a dozen of them and uh got caught up and uh, pirate rob was sitting in the corner too and ej kind of pointed out only one thing that's missing and that is shiny and while i will agree shiny was not there yet he was there lately shiny has been uh watching the live streams on the welcome to the range uh channel on youtube so if you miss shiny and want to talk to him maybe you should start checking out those live streams uh, on Saturday and uh, you can type at him, at him as well and yes shiny we miss you brother you, you should kind of come home so the red rum room has started uh, magic the gathering uh, play time uh, three times a week on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays uh, at 1 p.m. Uh, I of course you know Monday the first one Monday 1 p.m. I'm there bright and early with a few of my nasty decks uh, you know because I needed to insert my dominance and uh, I was only able to play one game because I had to come back up here and cook for put my meat in your mouth and this week's put my meat in your mouth menu item was uh, I made that dill pickle soup with ham and that is you know always one of my favorites uh, and often does become lots of people's favorites after uh, actually having it and eating it at first it sounds kind of weird and, and off-putting but yeah once you have it it's just like oh this is delicious and we also watched uh infinity chamber and that was a suggestion of one of the subscribers and uh, folks that hang out in the chat on the on my live streams and if you have amazon prime i highly suggest uh checking that out and if you don't have amazon prime i'm pretty sure that they do like a 30-day free sort of thing um and i will look at that and if that is the case i'll put a link uh in the first comment uh, below this video so that you can click over and watch it because yeah why not free free for 30 days give it a test give it a feel uh and you know it's it's holiday season who knows maybe you're gonna get some gifts you can save some money on shipping as well anyways no no enough of a plug a non-sponsored plug for amazon so after a few years of having a phone that had uh three quarters of the screen was pink uh and having all kinds of cracks on the screen now uh, i finally had to break down and get myself a phone it was just becoming too much of a hassle to use and i really want to start flying my drone uh, but if i can't see the screen uh, i'm a little leery about that so i did a little bit of research and got myself a samsung a52 5g and this is kind of i would say the top of the the most expensive mid-range uh phone if i would have went any higher i would have been getting into the uh, uh flagship phones you know the thousand dollar mark and whatnot and yeah I, 
I didn't have that money. I mean, I barely had this, the money for this. This left me with $7 in my bank account to my name, you know, so. So I did get this for a, a couple of different reasons, mainly because it's got this little headphone jack in there. And I do have that nice uh, uh, Rode microphone that works great with a uh, uh, smartphone. So I didn't want to lose the ability to use that. So I looked for something that would work. Now, I have downloaded and played Magic the Gathering Arena on this thing. So I'm hoping that if it's got enough uh, pow computer power to operate that, that I'll be able to render the 360 videos from my GoPro Fusion. Uh, wish me luck in that and you know, it works out for you if that is the case. But I do think that is possible. Uh, I do know that you can at least uh, uh, do the overview where you know, you just, you, it, it's still a flat image, it's not VR, you can't do this part. You do this part to do the editing on the phone, uh, but once you hit render, it just gives you the flat shot. So if it has the power to do that, I'm thinking that it should have the power to just whoop. And uh, I hope so, because I've been waiting to use that uh, 360 uh, camera uh, a lot more than I have. So on 11-11, Jinxie Bodensaw came over in the morning and uh, joined me for a coffee with Kaz. Uh, she had a show going on that evening at the range and wanted to promote that. So, uh, as well as talk about other things. And, you know, my last video, you, you heard how she was sniffing my beans and whatnot. So, had, had to make some of that, that coffee for her. So, she came over for that. It was a Thursday, so that's, that's the work party Thursdays thing that's going on. And ended up working on uh, the Mercantile Manor again, um, doing a bit of deconstruction and reconstruction to firm things up. And to be honest with you, a lot of that was just like, huh, how can I do that? I see why he did that, because he had this problem, but like, how do we not have that problem? And that's, that's some of the things of building with the resources that you have, and a lot of the resources that we do have are kickdowns from cutoffs of other projects. So you, there's a lot of piecing of things together. Um, so I did my piecing of things together and um, maybe also Shiny didn't want to, or any of the people that worked on that thing before didn't actually, you know, want to ask for too many resources uh, from the pile. Whereas like, nah, let's get this shit done right. Let's go grab this and, and, and do it, you know. Um, so yeah, spent most of the day working on that and I, I was pretty tired after that point, but my friend Jinxie was having a show, so I had to, you know, put on my big boy pants and go out and uh, in, enjoy the show, and I did. Uh, originally, there was only supposed to be one opening act for them. There ended up being three opening acts. Uh, all of the musicians uh, I enjoy, it. so it, it, it was a, a, a good night for me. Uh, on Friday, uh, was kind of a recuperation day because I was sore and whatnot. Uh, I did go down and play a game of Magic. And then when I came back, uh, there were some people here uh, to talk to me about some stuff. And I'm not going to tell you about it this week because uh, I can't. But if you would like to find out what it is I'm talking about, uh, I suggest you maybe check out the Coffee with Cause uh, this coming Friday. And where 
all will be revealed. But until then, that's going to do it for me. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz.